Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Uh, so I went and cleared some biter nests. Um, I didn't quite get all the way around the base, uh, but I got a good portion of it done. Um, I think I still need to go farther south and do some more clearing there. Um, you can see the you can see the effect that uh, that the terrain seems to have on the spread of pollution. Um, you know, here where it's desert and there's not too many trees, it does seem that it's spread farther than it has up here where it's uh, where there's more trees and things. Um, trees do slow down pollution, so that's... Um, if you're playing with biters, you might want to try to avoid a lot of desert on your map uh, if you're concerned about that. But um, the nice thing about desert is there's fewer trees to clear, but, uh, you know, it does have its, its drawbacks. Um, <clears throat> we still get attacks once in a while down here by the coal patch. And, uh, I think, in fact, I think I need to go down there and place a radar. Uh, let's go ahead and do that here real quickly. <clears throat> and then we'll get back to doing what I was trying to start before, which was to get, uh, some fuel set up for the trains. And then when we're finished with that, we'll start working on our next science packs. Uh, okay, I got some solid fuel with me. We'll drive over. Yeah, and as you could probably see from the highlight video, um, clearing biter bases with a tank is <laughs> quite easy. Yeah, just, yeah, it looks like just every once in a while there's a biter that comes up. Um, I don't want the radar to be in the way of the coal patch, so, well, I'll just put it there for now. And then those guys can protect it. All right, yeah, so what I wanna do for the fuel for the trains is use, use this line of solid fuel that I have coming down here. Uh, of course, there's no solid fuel right now. All right, let's, um, let's set up a few machines to make solid fuel from petroleum. Uh, I need steel. And what we can do is we can we can put in a circuit so that we only use it when the petroleum tanks are full. Because I definitely don't want to use petroleum for solid fuel as, you know, as my first option. There. So we'll do like four machines. Uh, let me grab some more, even more steel while I'm here. Um, I did pick up some batteries from my little setup over there uh, so that I can make some more laser turrets. So we'll go ahead and craft those as well. All right. Yeah, we need to get science going again. All right, so let's uh, continue this down here. I wanna relocate this down a few tiles. So that here momentarily. There. Would it be better to do this? Yeah, I think that'd be better. All right. So these will make solid fuel from petroleum. That is light oil. Here's petroleum. Let's 
see. What's the best way I can work my way in there? Okay. We've already got a circuit set up, so we'll uh, we'll do this here. Okay. So we'll enable this pump when petroleum is greater than, let's see, this is 100,000. So let's say greater than 99,000. Okay, and it looks like it's turned on. Pipes, okay. up all right I have a better idea in a little bit tight here. All right, so that'll that'll keep some that'll keep some solid fuel production going from the petroleum when we have excess, and once we start using some petroleum, that'll allow some more light oil to get made. So that'll this ought to keep the solid fuel production going uh, whenever we have lots of fluid. All right, and then. What we'll do is down here, I'm just going to set up two splitters. We'll do one there and one there. Okay, and then all we're going to do is run, we're going to run two lines, and we'll just use yellow inserters here. We'll run two lines up, and then whenever the trains come and park here, they'll be able to grab fuel. In fact, we can put output priority. No, I'll just I'll just leave them as a split. I'll keep one of those for myself. Okay, 
So then I'm going to copy this minus the combinator. Um, minus the power poles and the station. All right, and then I'll just put this on each of these. All right, and on some of these stations, we're not going to need the second line. I think I may have lost a bot or two in my uh, excursion to destroy biter nests. There. And then this last one, obviously I don't need the undergrounds. So that's a fairly simple way to set up refueling for your trains. Um, you could also do it with robots and request your chests if you wanted to do that instead. And in fact, I'll probably end up doing that uh, later in the game. But for now, this will work just fine. Okay, let's take the wood out of there. Right, and there is a speed bonus for using solid fuel. You get a 120% acceleration bonus, or 120% acceleration, so 20% bonus. Okay, and I need power over here. So between episodes, I'm going to go down south and clear more biters because they are getting to be annoying. Okay, so what's next? Let's get our next science pack up and running. Um, I, think, I think production science is going to... No, or maybe I want high tech. What's going to give me the fusion reactor? High tech science. Yeah, I feel like I'd almost rather do high tech science first because that'll allow me to scale up my bots. <coughs> high tech science is going to require blue circuits, though, which I don't have yet. Um, whereas production science packs we can make right now. So let's do, we'll do production science packs. All right, and I'm going to do the rest of the science packs I'm going to do at 45 per minute rather than 90. Um, and I mentioned this previously, uh, but just to reiterate so everybody's clear on what it is that I'm trying to do. Um, I've been doing 90 per minute on red, green, and blue and military um, in order to accelerate the early game research and get us um, and get us ahead on the research curve but uh, a few people have pointed out quite rightly that that my main bus is not going to support 90 per minute science packs um, and that's that's quite correct it won't not of all the science packs it does support 90 a minute of red green and blue but once we start adding in the other ones, um, you know, we would need a lot more belts and so on than, than what I've actually got. Um, so I just wanted to explain the reason why you, you don't see me making a bigger bus right now, because I'm not planning to continue with 90 a minute. Um, and even though I have 90 a minute capacity over here, once I get 
you know, once we start using the other science packs that are only making it 45 a minute, then our, our consumption of, of the first four science packs is going to drop to 45 a minute as well. Okay. So we'll, uh, we'll start putting together the next ones over here. Let's, um, let's grab some stone brick so we can expand the path. Actually, I'm going to need to get some belts. And I need yellow as well as red. And I think I need some yellow splitters. And the red I'm good on. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put yellow back on my tool belt. Looks like I need yellow undergrounds as well. Uh, I don't need nearly this much ammo. Let's just, <laughs> I think if I, you know, let's just keep two extra stacks. That should be sufficient. And I don't need these steel furnaces either. Let's see what else I can get rid of. Uh, stone. Yeah, I got some signals. I have a lot of these power poles. Stone furnaces. Okay, that helps a bit. All right, so we're gonna need to extend this part of the bus. We're going to need these stone bricks for the science packs. Oh, you know what? I think I have a bunch of stone bricks in one of these chests. I'll just grab that for the path before I take it off the belt. Over here. There we go. All right, so the production science we're going to design for 45 a minute. Um, and then this is also going to give us, this is also going to give us um, electric furnaces. So I'll design it with extra capacity to make electric furnaces. I'm not going to have enough. Oh, maybe I will. Okay, great. Okay. <clears throat> uh, that's not correct, is it? What the? <laughs> okay. Well, that's messed up. Oh, I know what I did wrong. Jeez. That's where it should be. Is that right? Or one more? Yeah, one more. There we go. Okay.
All right, very good. So, production science packs. We need, now these make two per cycle. Okay, so even though it says 14, we only need seven machines. So let's start with that. And we'll do that roughly here in the center. Two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. And then these need one electric engine unit and one electric furnace per cycle. So let's do the electric engine units on this side. These take 14 seconds. An electric engine unit takes 10 seconds. So we could do, I'll just do one to one. And these take engines, circuits, and lubricant. Okay, uh, let's get some pipe. And I need some power poles. I think that's it. Okay, and then we'll use, whoops, we'll use a long inserter. And we'll use a single belt. At least I think we can use a single belt. Yeah, it's only two circuits and one engine, so no problem. And we'll feed them in like this. going to do this for reference. Here's our engines. Circuits. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. So this is going to go like that. here. 
There we go. That should do it. Okay. And now we need the lubricant. All right. Now the lubricant is up here. Uh, we're also going to need it in the mall. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll pipe it. I'll pipe it over above the mall. Yeah. And then we'll bring it down. Although I did leave this for pipes. No, I'll bring it down. I'll bring it down and we'll bring it over here. Uh, it'll be a little tight over here with all this other stuff we have going on, but we can make it work. In fact, let's... Um, start running the pipe just so we can remember where it should go. probably put some more pumps along the way here. too far. <laughs> okay. Later on, we'll need sulfuric acid here for blue circuits, so we'll uh, we'll run that next to this pipe. <clears throat> Let's get another pump right here. leaving it far away so that I can put another pump there for the acid. Okay, I think we're getting close. A little bit further. Here I'm putting the pipes wherever we see the undergrounds because these are not quite long enough to jump across two sets of eight or two sets of four belts. Let me 
bring power poles down here <coughs> along this path. Okay, and now we can see that we are making engines. Great. Now electric furnaces. Steel. Advanced circuits. Stone brick. And these are, these take five seconds each. So they need two and one per second of those ingredients. So we only need half as many, but um, I think I'll still, I'll still go one and one, or one to one, rather, because uh, I do want extra capacity on electric furnaces, because we're going to be, we're going to be using a lot of them when we start expanding our base. instead. Alright, and then we'll put a chest there. And we'll put the extras in there. Now, if I have seven of these, I'm going to need 14 per second. the steel and stone brick so I really need like three yellow belts three yellow belts will be a little bit short So we'll do one of each, <clears throat> one of each ingredient, and we'll do an underground here. So let's get those other ingredients brought up here. I'll do the I'll do the red circuits on the near one. 
since um, since the yellow inserter is the slowest. yellow belt. <clears throat> Almost done. I know we're running a little late, but I uh, want to get this finished up so we don't have to stretch it over two episodes. This one's actually <laughs> probably one of the easier ones to set up <clears throat> compared to these other two. So this is not quite perfect, but it will work. third belt down here. One, two, three. And I'll just side load it so that the left side of this belt will be used for the high-tech science packs when we get to that. Whoopsie. There. Okay, so what's the next thing we want to do on production science packs? I would say worker robot speed. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Let's see how we're doing here. Okay, we're doing fine. And that's going to cause us to start using up a lot more iron. Yeah, this is almost empty. How much do we have here? 18,000? Yeah, see, it's just a few of these belts. <laughs> Still have a lot of material left in there because they've practically never emptied themselves out. All 
Alright, so that train ought to go soon to pick up more. Alright, good. So that's that's a fairly tidy build uh, for this production science. Um, <clears throat> you know, and we're making, we have more engine capacity and electric furnace capacity than we need here, but, um, you know, the more I play this game, the more I, I tend to favor these one-to-one -one type of relationships, even, you know, for the least or for the most constrained resource, which is this one. This is the slowest one, so I'd rather have extra capacity for the other stuff. Um, it, when you do one-to-one -one like this, it just makes it really easy to lay out. <clears throat> you can do direct insertion. Um, in fact, these this whole thing could even be moved closer, you know, right next to this belt, and you could pull it in with the inserter from here, but I wanted to put these on the belt so that I have a place for the extra furnaces to go so that I can use these later when we start setting up uh, smelting outside of the starter base. But uh, that's a nice, that's a nice tidy build there. I'm pretty happy with that. And our research is going, so that means that we got the labs <laughs> and all those inserters uh, hooked up properly. Seems like they're making it to the labs. Of course, now we're not gonna be using as many labs since we're only doing 45 a minute, but uh, that's okay. All these extra science packs and labs at some point we'll, we'll use up. Okay, well, that'll do it for today. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.